Watch someone in an argument. The loudest person? Not the smartest. The silent one? That's intelligence. Your brain wasn't designed to find truth. It was designed to protect your ego. 50 milliseconds for your amygdala to react. 500 milliseconds for your rational mind to catch up. That 450 millisecond gap? Where stupid decisions are made. Highly intelligent people fight this programming every day. Here are five things they refuse to do. And the neuroscience that explains why. Thing one, they never listen to respond. You're talking. Someone's nodding. But their eyes are glazed over. They're not listening. They're waiting for their turn to speak. Your working memory holds about seven items at once. When you prepare a response, your prefrontal cortex is occupied, rehearsing what you'll say next. You're not listening. You're performing. MIT. People retain only 25% of what's being said when simultaneously planning their response. Three quarters of the conversation lost because you were too busy being clever. Intelligent people listen with full attention. Not because they're more patient. Because every conversation is a chance to upgrade their understanding. Average person listens to win. Intelligent person listens to learn. Here's the tactical advantage. Silence is a vacuum. People rush to fill it with information. Let them. Intelligence isn't about having the best answer. It's about collecting the best information. If you've caught yourself preparing a response mid-conversation and stopped, that self-awareness puts you ahead of 90% of people. Thing two, they never decide during amygdala hijack. You get a harsh email from your boss. Heart racing. Face hot. Fingers on keyboard ready to fire back. Don't. Amygdala hijack. Daniel Goleman's term for when your emotional brain takes over. When emotions spike, blood flow redirects to your limbic system, your prefrontal cortex. Logic, planning, judgment literally goes offline. Your brain's a company where the security guard just took over the CEO's office. You're making boardroom decisions with a bouncer's instincts. Harvard. Emotional decisions have 60% higher regret rates. Intelligent people recognize the physiological signs. Heart racing. Heat. They know. Not the time to decide anything important. The 24-hour rule. Do not promise when happy. Do not reply when angry. Do not decide when sad. If you've typed an angry email and deleted it instead of sending, your body was smarter than your ego. That's not weakness. That's intelligence. Thing three, they never blame external circumstances. Two types of people. External locus. Life controls me. Internal locus. I am the architect. Stanford's 40-year study. Internal locus of control predicts life success better than IQ. Better than IQ. When you blame externally, cortisol floods your system. Amygdala activates. Prefrontal cortex shuts down. Problem solving offline. When you take responsibility, brain shifts to approach mode. Dopamine circuits activate. Motivation online. Executive function engaged. Viktor Frankl survived Auschwitz. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. A man in a concentration camp, the most externally controlled environment imaginable realized he still had one freedom, how he responded. Marcus Aurelius, 2,000 years earlier, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Victim mindset. Why does this always happen to me? Intelligent mindset. What can I learn? 
what's in my control? If you've stopped yourself from complaining and asked that second question, you've activated the same circuit Stoic philosophers trained years to develop. Thing 4. They never multitask. Multitasking is not productivity. It's attention bankruptcy. Your brain cannot parallel process tasks requiring attention. It switch tasks, rapidly toggling between activities. Every switch has a cost. UC Irvine. 23 minutes to fully refocus after a task interruption. Attention residue. Sophie Leroy. 2009. When you switch from task A to task B, part of your brain still processes task A. Like a browser with too many tabs, everything runs slower. MIT. 40% productivity loss from task switching. University of London. Multitasking drops your IQ by 10 points, equivalent to missing a full night's sleep. Bill Gates. Think weeks in isolated cabins with books and a notepad. Warren Buffett. 500 pages daily in a silent office. Cal Newport. The ability to focus without distraction is the rarest and most valuable skill in the modern economy. Average knowledge worker switches tasks every three minutes. Highly intelligent people? 90-minute blocks of uninterrupted focus. Every notification is a bid for your attention. Every just-checking moment fragments your intelligence. Your phone isn't making you productive. It's making you stupid. If you feel guilty turning off notifications, you're fighting the entire digital economy designed to fracture your attention. That resistance? That's intelligence. Thing 5. They never chase every opportunity. Warren Buffett. The difference between successful people and very successful people is that very successful people say no to almost everything. Here's the biology. Roy Baumeister discovered decision fatigue. Your prefrontal cortex runs on glucose. Every decision burns fuel. When glucose depletes, your willpower collapses. This is why judges grant parole 65% of the time in the morning, but only 10% before lunch. Same cases. Different glucose levels. Your brain makes life-altering decisions based on blood sugar. Intelligent people automate the trivial to preserve capacity for the critical. Because here's the truth. You cannot reach mastery if you're burning your neural fuel on mediocrity. Consider the 10,000-hour rule. Average person spreads 1,000 hours across 10 interests. 10 mediocre skills. Intelligent person concentrates 10,000 hours on one core skill. Mastery. If you've turned down something good because you had something better in mind, you understand strategic sacrifice. Intelligence isn't doing more. It's ruthlessly eliminating everything else. Notice the pattern? None of these are about having a higher IQ. They're about discipline. Intelligence isn't knowing more facts or speaking better words. Intelligence is controlling your mind's default programming. Which of the five hits hardest for you? Drop a number in the comments.